dinner party wars. Why are you showing me food that I'm gonna eat? Three couples compete to outdo each other. I'm gonna have to hurt you pretty soon. I'm sorry, mother. <laughs> in the ultimate dinner party showdown. I don't think they've done a whole lot of this kind of entertaining. Two experts judge. You know what that looks like? Uh, Could I offer you some more of the sparkling wine? Their dinner do's <laughs> and don'ts. I'm just gonna drink. They share yeah. one goal. Sure to be Dinner Party War <laughs> Champions. Dinner Party Warriors are club promoters Ryan and Charlene. They hope their thorough research of partying will give them the edge. My style, um, I would definitely say classy, sexy, chic. It won't be tacky, it won't be tasteless. You can never be too confident. I'm very fun myself, and sometimes it's fun to have fun with other people as well. <laughs> We're gonna throw the most fabulous dinner party you have ever been to. So watch out. <laughs> Our second couple is stay-at-home mom Peggy and banker Norm, who have spent their years together working out the perfect dinner party formula. I don't get involved in what's going on in the kitchen. If I get called into the kitchen, it's, it's a miracle. Tell them why you're really going to win. Oh, because my food rocks and, and so does uh, everything you do. <laughs> We've got it in the bag and we're celebrating early. Cheers, sweetie. Cheers. And our final contestants, Amanda, a writer, and Zara, a broker, are friends who hope their passion for fresh local food will dazzle their opponents. I don't like things that come out of boxes and cans. <laughs> we need to make the salad dressing. I tend to eat food that has a story attached to it because I find it more nourishing. You can see that we're delicious and so is everything that comes from our kitchen. So bring on the food fight. These couples will meet for the first time when they host each other over the course of three competitive dinners. Each couple gets $350 to spend and three hours to deliver. Only one couple can win, and that's up to our judges. This is Corbin Tomaszewski, executive chef and kitchen supremo at Shishi Holt Renfrew Cafe. He'll be judging the couples on menu selection, food presentation, and of course, taste. And this is Anthea Turner, the UK's perfect housewife, top-selling author, and our ultimate party hostess. She'll be judging the dinner parties on style, etiquette, and entertainment. They'll view each saucy detail using robot cameras. At stake, $1,000 of kitchen goodies and the grand honor to be named Dinner Party War Champions. It's day one, dinner party one, and our judges arrive to inspect Charlene and Ryan's Ocean Oasis theme. First up are appetizers of spicy crab pitas and shrimp cocktail followed by a first course of pasta shells in a vodka blush sauce, then a main of salmon, wild rice, and roasted vegetables. And for dessert, ice cream and fruit. Uh, hi, it's me, Ryan. Hi, how are you? Nice. How are you? Right now, I'm preparing the mix that's going to go into our mini pitas. Right. So it's going to be a spicy crab mix. Crab? Crab imitation. Okay, you're not going to call this crab. That's not crab. We'll, we'll call it faux crab. I call it a seafood pita. Seafood pita? Sure. So for the second appetizer, typical cocktail sauce. It's the better one with the horseradish. No, I didn't make it. I can't make it. I've is it a to. prawn cocktail? Yes, it's a prawn cocktail. Exactly what it is. Essentially, I went with items that I could make. Yeah. Um, Which simple, was? Simple items that I can make glamorous <laughs> yeah. while I serve, and I can doll them up. Charlenified. This is the vodka. Yes. Flush. This sauce you didn't make. You added cream and you added vodka, right? Yes. So you can take ready-bought items, but you gotta add stuff to it to make it your own. I love this color. Does it remind you of the ocean? Yeah, oh. it does. Have you got enough cutlery? Yes, you've got all I these do. Courses? Yes, thank you. Either it's all on or it's all off. Okay. So when you set it out, it's either going to look really stupid if you've got some on and some off the mat. Okay. So either go all on or all off. Does Ryan have any say in tonight? I am the entertainer, so <laughs> when the guests come in, I'm going to keep them happy and keep them having fun, keep them, keep the, you know, atmosphere lights. 
The judges leave Charlene and Ryan to open up their jars, boxes, and containers. But will Corbin have to open up a can of whoop-ass? When I looked at your face, as soon as she started to talk about all her bought ingredients. She's not cooking. She's opening up jars and dumping on plates. It's cocktail sauce, tomato sauce. Yeah. I'm surprised you bought fresh salmon. Couldn't she find something ready cooked? The shrimp were cooked. <laughs> you know what I mean? Using real crab, for God's sake. This is, like, not good for you, is it? It's kind of painful. While the hosts prep, the robot cameras are set to record the dinner table action. And then it's private access only with the confessional cam, where the evening's sins are truly revealed. The judges are also prepped to catch all the angles oh, of the dinner good. party adventure. Mm, that Merlot smells so good. Oh my god, that wine is shite. The only reason to decant that is because it's such a cheap, horrible bottle that nobody, nobody else will know. Surprise, surprise, she's got fruit that she has ready bought at a container. Look at that. All cut and ready to go. She can't even cut up fruit herself. First to arrive at the Ocean Oasis are Amanda and Zara. Hello. I'm Charlene. Come on in. Come on in. I'm Amanda. Amanda, nice, nice to, to meet, meet you. you. Uh, should I bring out some appetizers or should I wait until no, the other guests yeah, arrive? Yeah? You must be hungry. Friend. Okay, for sure. The other guests haven't arrived. And they're already tucking into the appetizers. Now... They should just sit at the dining room table and serve the first course. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's a little bit spicy. I hope you can take pepper. Pepper I is like good. It. You like it? <laughs> Second to arrive are Peggy and Norm. Hello. Hi. How, how are, are you? you? Good. How are you? Good. good. How's it going? Come on in. Yeah. You can take your shoes off. Yeah, have a seat. To arrive at somebody's house and be told to take your shoes off, but everybody to be now sitting around in their socks and immediately I don't feel welcome. Nice I'm, to meet you. Amanda? I'm Amanda. Let's I'm hear Peggy. what the guests nice think you. in the confessional. Our hosts asked us to remove our shoes, and I just, my first thought was, oh, shit. <laughs> and I noticed that actually the host had his shoes on, which seemed curious. Poor old Norman sitting there in his socks and eating a sandwich. <laughs> There's Peggy thinking, I've ended up with my teenagers. What am I doing here? Will the Charlenified faux crab mini pita hors d'oeuvres get this evening back on track? Would you like? No. Would you like a sauna? No. You can have my pita. You're English. You're going to love it. Who are we kidding? No. Do you know, what's inside it isn't terrible. It's not good. This is an hors d'oeuvre. I just think it, it's inappropriate. They're inconvenient. This is something that you give somebody for a packed lunch. It's spicy. There's cayenne pepper in here. Yeah. And the pita, like... Mm -hmm. Norman's in the confessional. I can't wait to hear what Norman says. It, it felt like the kind of thing that you could scoop out of a jar and put in a pita. If you guys want to join us at the table, we'll sure, yeah. a few um, more hors d'oeuvres. Bring sure. your pitas if you'd like, or we can leave them here. Uh, maybe leave them here. Now, I would recommend the Merlot with the salmon when that comes out. So if you'd like, we can start off with the white. All right. Or if you'd like the Merlot, go ahead, knock yourselves out. They chose a Chardonnay yeah. and they chose a Merlot, neither of which go with any of the food. Now, that tells me that they don't drink a lot of wine, they don't entertain a lot, and they have no idea how to serve wine. Well, at least it's alcohol. Here's the Charlenified shrimp cocktail. Go ahead, help yourself. All right, Please thank dig you. Into the shrimp and... Okay, here, just before you start dunking there, look at, yeah. look, at, look at my glass. Do you see this action right here? Do you see that? Yeah, that, it's quite, quite like messy. Went... And also, we've got dishwasher marks all over the glass. I can tell you right now what I don't like about these store-bought, pre-cooked, frozen shrimp. That's chewy. They're limp. So do you entertain together very often? We've started to. Oh. Yeah, we've just started getting our feet wet with it. This is your first <laughs> night. <laughs> Officially our first. Can you excuse us for about two minutes? Sure, sure. please. Thanks. Sure. Do you want us to keep our knives? Or? Yes, yeah. yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Should we keep our knives? You're not supposed to help them out here. Trust me, that little thing's not going to change anything. On my skirt, great. The host and hostess are ineffectual within this. My compact. Uh, yeah. Norman is now just become the waiter. <laughs> when Norm took it upon himself to serve the wine, uh, it kind of made me giggle because there was sort of a note of desperation, like we all need a little more wine here. 
More wine for the next course. Oh, thank Shell you. Shell pasta with vodka blush sauce. I highly recommend the Parmesan. I don't think we can wait for Amanda. Oh, of course Ryan's not going He's to wait not for waiting. Amanda. He's not waiting. Oh, pile in then. So who made the sauce? I did. I helped. What's in it? <laughs> We started with like a just a tomato sauce, and then I added some cream into it, some oregano, just some other seasonings, and obviously a shot of vodka. Please be nice. Uh, it's this clumpy. is a clump. This is a definite clump. It's clumpy. She overcooked it. Yeah. Then she drained it and let it sit. To go gloopier and gloopier, and gloopier. because gloopier. it's still cooking. All yeah. those things that she said that she was going to glamify or shamify, yeah. she didn't do any of that. It's not very good. <laughs> it tasted kind of like a meal that I would have made in first year university. So, Amanda, did you like the meal so far? Yeah, it's good, thank you. Are you sure? Yes. Are you sure? Do I look like a liar? Your plate was pretty much full. I'm a tiny lady. Oh, that's true. And you know you, know, you have that you, against you. You know, you, also you, have know you have a few courses. Yeah. I can't. I can't argue with that. Next up, charlina fried salmon. Dinner is served. Whoa! That better be finished. I'm just kidding, <laughs> She's just little. I'm hoping everybody's quiet because they're enjoying their food. Mm. How do you season the rice? Olive oil and garlic. Works well. <laughs> and here it is. Baked salmon with wild rice and roasted veggies. This is moist. Mm. Oh. Not the microwave rice. I'm a bit hungry. I'm going to have to have some more rice. Don't eat that rice. Don't eat that rice. Don't eat, that rice. Don't eat this. Gonna eat I'm going to take you up for dinner. Have some. No, don't eat No, I don't want that either. As it stands, I don't think this is war ready <laughs> dinner party. And that leaves dessert. Okay, the scoops are not going to be that neat. I'm sorry. They can't even do a scoop of ice cream properly. Thank you. Nope. Oh my goodness me! That's that's an ornament. It's junior. It's, exactly. it's something my yeah. grandmother would give me when I was four years yeah. old to shut me up and sit me on the front step right. for a while. That's yeah, what yeah. it is. Absolutely. I don't need to taste that. A little what something for afterwards that we're working on. All right, we have a little surprise. We're gonna take you to oh, you know, a little Eagle. Right. <laughs> Look at Biggie's face. Look at Biggie's face. Dance for us. We figured it was the next club. Oh, you guys have never smoked shisha before? The shisha, or hookah, is a Middle Eastern water pipe for smoking flavored tobacco. This flavor, My, double yeah. apple. It's customary in Arabic countries uh, after dinner. Yes. For them yes, to sit down and smoke yeah. out of a hookah. Yeah. I don't particularly want to share a, a mouthpiece with you. Can I do it? There we go. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> OK, you have to change the tin foil. Yeah, no offense yeah, to you. Yeah, yeah. I knew Peggy would do it. Oh, Peggy's a game girl. Get on with it, Peggy. Okay. <laughs> you can do it, Peggy. Come on, Blue. Nicely done. Suck that pipe. All right, you're done. Peggy! Oh, oh, I didn't try that! Why did she do that? Okay, okay just <laughs> no more than what you would put like a cigar or a cigarette into your mouth. We're getting a hookah. See? <laughs> this is what we need. This party needed this hookah about an hour and a half hookah, ago. But you know what it needed? I think it needed something stronger than double apple in it. Take nice care. to meet you. Uh, nice to meet you. Bye, Charlene. And as the smoke clears, <laughs> the judges reflect on the party. Disappointment. Awkward. Oh. We certainly beat them. We beat them. And we haven't even started yet. So, yeah, no, they, you know, I mean, they tried, but no, uh, it wasn't very good. Stunk. Well, yeah, it was awful. That's what you really it want was to awful. say. I asked him at one point, so what's your role today? What have you done today? Yeah, he said that he cut the vegetables.
It's day two, dinner party two, and our judges are here to check out if Peggy and Norm have what it takes to top Charlene and Ryan's pre-packaged meal. Peggy and Norm will have an appetizer of curried lentil soup. For the main, roast pork loin with scalloped potatoes, squash, and broccoli. And for dessert, chocolate mousse with creme fraiche and berries. Ah, oh, Norman, cutting, oh, chopping. There. So tell us about what you're cooking. The first course is a curried lentil soup, nice warm yeah. soup. Uh -huh. yeah. uh, the second course is a roasted pork loin, so it's going to be a whole roast, and then I'll cut it into chops. Where's the soup? The uh, soup is right behind you. Oh, look at that. Wow. That did not come out of a can. So what's your bit then? I, I'm just the hostess. I'm mm -hmm. with the mostess. You yeah. made the house look beautiful. Yeah. You're going to be serving the drinks. Yeah. Well, you're in the kitchen cooking. That's, That's correct. Perfect. Well, this looks a nice table. Thank you. Are you stacking? I, I usually stack. The thing is, people are going to sit down, mm -hmm. and then you're going to have to take things off them. Right. I think that you're bringing it out like that, and then when you finish the soup, you take all of that The whole away. thing? Oh, really? Because you don't want to eat off a charger. Oh, OK, because we usually eat do them. eat off of them. So no stacking. Oh, my OK. God, I'm in trouble here. He's got great soup. He's cutting yeah. child. He's got a great kitchen. I get to enjoy great food tonight. And that's it. What's Peggy going to do? Who then? cares? Peggy doesn't do anything. She's got to rearrange the table. Why? Well, I, it was just a few little things. Were you mean to her? No, I was not. I was really nice. Yeah, but when you think you're being nice, you're really not being no, nice I wasn't. at all. You're being... I, I was really constructive. As Norm prepares the food and the judges get into place, Peggy does what Peggy does. Shit. He is the cucumber in the relationship. He is. Nice and cool. She's the hot pepper. Are we going to have time for a little light down? I don't think so. Oh, you can't say no to me. <laughs> no, 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 no. I don't think we will. Oh, come on, I'm a little stressed. All right. Need to relax. She is hilarious. What's important about this dinner party is going to be the food, really. This is what is going to make or break this dinner party. It has to be, because there's there's no theme. They've got really no entertainment. So if Norman's doing all the cooking, she has got to be a great hostess. Because I'm all done. I'm so ready. Excellent. Whoa. First to arrive ready? are Charlene yeah. and Ryan. Hi. Hello. Hi. Ready to party. Only Ryan and Charlene would wear sunglasses when it's raining outside. Yeah. Take our shoes off. Okay. Oh, no, don't worry no, about your shoes. shoes on. Oh, and they're asked to keep so their much. shoes on? How gauche. Good job. I'm ready. Hot on their heels are Amanda are and Zara. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much for coming to our home. Thank you very much. Yeah. Cheers, Cheers, Zara. And before Amanda and Zara can take a sip of their cocktail. In life, is there anything you wouldn't try once? <laughs> Let's not even go there. Oh, let's go there. <laughs> I want to go there. There's all these questions at Zara and Amanda to see how friendly they are. Not appropriate. So no girl has ever called you a name at a club or at a bar? Girls have called me names, but they've never called me something. Totally that... Brian totally <laughs> thinks that they're lesbians. I know. And he's I excited mean, about it. Oh, oh, thank you. Thank you. A little thank you. too now excited. I'm gonna look like a... Thanks. Thanks, Peggy. <laughs> Thank Thanks, you, Peggy. Peggy. Just wanted support. to help. <laughs> Peggy, pay attention to Norm's loin. Look at that pork loin. Oh, look. It's a fine piece of meat it there, Norm. Thick. He is tenting. This is what we call in the kitchen tenting. So really, this means it's going to rest, it's going to relax. And the juices and are going to just just going to slice through that. I have a heads up. Soup's okay. on. Excellent. You, you, you may bring your cocktail with you, or we're, we're going to serve wine as well. So. Thank you very much, Peggy. You're welcome. Which herbs did you use for that, Norm? There's basil, rosemary, sage, and thyme. Norm, it is so tasteful. This I just soup took a... is amazing. It tastes mm -hmm. amazing, awesome. Very good. And here's the curried lentil soup. Beautiful, so beautiful. Back at the table. I think I'm an Aquarius to the T. Whatever an Aquarius is supposed to symbolize, I think that's what I am. Independent and like to myself and a little bit cocky and arrogant. A little bit? 
A little bit. No. No. <laughs> uh, whatever. I'm 25. I could be cocky still. I could definitely tell she's flirting with me, and um, I don't see no reason why she wouldn't be. Am I giving too much uh, testosterone? Am I impressed with Ryan's macho stories? I, I don't think Ryan has a lot of macho. That's right, eh? We, were, uh, we wonder if Norm likes the kitchen better than the dinner table. I'm not. Norman's clearing, clearing the place up. Norman. Oh. Norman's slicing the pork. Norman's clearing the plates. And what's Peggy doing again? Drink it. <laughs> so I, I'm a little confused about your relationship. And forgive me for asking, but are you. Are you. Together? Together, yes. No, we actually just met through a mutual friend. So you're friends? I had, yeah. Like, I wasn't sure what was going on with that one. Those girls are lesbians, I think, clearly. Who cares if they're lesbians? Amanda and I have been completely forthcoming about our relationship. I just, I'm not sure that anyone wants to believe us, and I'm not sure why they don't. Peggy remembers something. Oh, yes, Norm. What's what's after? Oh, the broth, and then is there and the sauce? What? Oh, oh I'm so confused. Do a whisk, stir, or stir, stir. Yeah. Oh, stir. Oh, oh. What the hell is she doing? What does she think she's doing? Look at her. She she just needs to get the hell out of there because she's a she needs to go away. Go away. Go. Go. Norm is in the kitchen doing his thing, and Peggy is just kind of running around like I don't know what to do. Norm, do you need my help? Should I clear the dishes? Like she's not really taking any initiative. He's really not able to interact with his guests. She is right on that one. Okay, what else? I'm in your way. Yeah, Tell you are. me. Um, I'm backing up, hands in the air, backing away from the chef because yeah. I'm just getting in the way now. You are. So tell me when you need me. I will. Let's see if Norm can keep his cool with the main of pork loin, scalloped potatoes, squash, and broccoli. I hate seeing trucks on the road. Well, thank you, Norm. You're very welcome. Come. There's a hair in my plate. Where? Right here. Is it long? It's There's short. a hair in your plate? There's Norm? a hair in my plate. <laughs> All right, let's change the plate. Yep. It's probably a fabric from the linens, actually, because it doesn't look like Norm's hair. All right, you're not allowed pulling any more hairs out of your head. <laughs> oh, okay, thank you, Norm. <laughs> Likewise, Norm. <laughs> Ooh, that looks good. Oh, it was thank short and black much. last time I checked. And on hopefully hairless plates, roast pork loin with scalloped potatoes, squash, and broccoli. Food. I'm going straight for the pork. Mm. 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 Wow. Oh. Pork is nice. Mm. The broccoli in the plate is like parsley. Yeah. It has no purpose. Squash? Mm. Oh, I don't like squash. Too sweet. Squash. But it's it's a damn fine meal. Mm. Uh, food was good. Um, not as tasteful as our food, but good. Not as good as his food? There is no comparison with the food. He's odd. And Charlene just won't let it go. So do you still like, Would you, are you attracted to both men and women? But look at Zara. She is not pleased with that comment. She's a little uncomfortable. We are the hosts and we could rescue you from that question, but we're not going to. <laughs> All of this conversation is completely wrong. You don't talk about religion, you don't talk about sex, you don't discuss Orientation. Zara. <laughs> yes, Peggy. Where have you gone, sweetie? Did Norman just flash the evil then at Peggy? Where, Where have you, I yeah, gone? You're looking, you're yeah, looking you disappeared uncomfortable. She's admiring you. Come back. Did you go away, Zara? No. <laughs> when you give off an aura, you you get it back, you know? You were giving more. Oh, it's getting a little hot in here. Mm -hmm. oh. When you have people that you don't really know that well at the table, you're not quite sure what topics are uncomfortable for them. Some topics are, are you know, great icebreakers, and some topics, not so much. Dinner plates have not been cleared, and Norm is plating the dessert. Yes. And let's make a bet. Who will clear the dinner plates? Oh, Norman. Of course he will. Peggy's enjoying gonna everybody's refill the wine. company. Norman. Who's going to refill the water? Norman. Oh, Peggy, no, no, really. Just sit down. You've worked so hard. We're just gonna put the spoons in, right? Uh, no, no. Why not? Because it brings the visual effect. Oh, Peggy. So you actually you want me to place spoons at every? Yes. And really? I'll follow I can't. You with the no, dish. I've got a clean one. Oh, you got one. But it doesn't matter. Just put them on the table. Oops. And here is the chocolate mousse, creme fraiche, or and berries. Them? This is actually really good. This is what I'm enjoying. Mm -hmm. 
glad Ryan likes something. But, you know, because the meal, the main course, was so heavy, mm. this really is the perfect dessert to finish the meal off with because it's light, it's not overly filling, mm. not a lot of strong flavor, but it's nice, it's simple. I would be a liar if I said I had any complaints or criticisms about the food. Well, we Just a moment. Uh-oh, Peggy has an idea. Okay, ladies, time for one of you to make an appearance. My daughters really wanted you to meet. Oh my goodness, one of their little friends. So apparently they're good for about 10 minutes before they start peeing and pooing all over you. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay, don't shake, it's okay, it's okay. Oh, is she scared? She's scared, she's shaking. Oh, I think she peed on me. <laughs> I think she loves you too. Pig just pissed on Ryan. Oh well. <laughs> See, there is a god. <laughs> and with the guinea pig's grand sure. finale, the dinner so party happy with Cheers. 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 Actually, it was a good dinner party. The food was pretty fine. Oh. And highly entertaining. <laughs> what the f is Lola doing on the dinner table? When you host the party tomorrow night, will you at least put some other form of livestock on the table? It will be plated be... with some nice lentils and possibly <laughs> some braised greens. Yeah. There's one more night left, and you're going to their home, so... Yeah, oh, I can't too. wait. That's, I think that's going to be the most fun. I cannot wait to nitpick yeah. and everything about what they cook. Oh, yeah. Tomorrow night okay. is the war part. It's day three, dinner party three, and Zara and Amanda think they have it in the bag with their locally sourced menu, starting with an appetizer of build-your-own-salad, a main of pan-seared splake over pork and lentils with greens and rice, and for dessert, cheesecake with a rhubarb compote. Our entire dinner party is focused on the ingredients and yeah. the producers that, uh -huh. that grew our food. We've got this uh -huh. beautiful splake, which is a cross between a brook trout and a lake trout. This is great. So where are we going to be eating this? That'll be in the dining room, which is right through here. Off to you. Very we nice. decided to use a really clean look for our table so yeah. that we're really putting the focus on the food, because that's that's what we want our dinner party to be about. We were concerned our main might not make it to the table because it was stormy the day the fisherman was going out and they couldn't commit to whether we would actually have splake or not. See, now that is a great story. You should talk about yeah. that. Well, yeah, we, we yeah, intend to. Yeah. I would just just make sure you keep it just the way we're talking now. This is how you it should come across today. Because it can <laughs> easily come across as being preachy. And I think your challenge, really, is going to yeah. be Charlene and Ryan. And, and if you can get them interested, then you have done an amazing job. Good food tonight. Fresh, beautiful food, and it's all local. I am looking forward to this, because I genuinely feel I am going to learn so much from those girls. I love wow. them. Just an umbrella. What is this? It's an umbrella. It's not a man umbrella. <laughs> There's a beet fingerprint on the egg dish. Ooh. Scandalous. As Zara and Amanda get ready, the judges take their place. They're looking pretty calm, pretty oh. collected. It looks to me like they've done a complete sweep. They've checked everything. First to arrive Hello. are Peggy and Nora. Hello. Hello. Amanda and Zara waste no time setting the evening's tone. Everything that we're serving this evening does have a bit of a story. The cider is from a winery called Vintage One Wines. So my friend Alejandra is the head winemaker there. Oh, cool. And she gets these apples from an organic orchard and then makes the cider herself. And of course, Charlene and Ryan. Good evening. How are you? Good How's it going? Nice Good to see, to see you. you. Nice to see you as well, for sure. Oh. <laughs> I feel that we need to feel more part of this, don't we? Well, and it is kind of bright in here. Like, honestly, it just... Oh, do you know, I feel so much better. Oh, see, in these, uh, I specifically yeah. coordinated my tie. You look so cool. You man. like it? Yeah, I really yeah, like it. Yourself. I really like it. Oh, cheers. Hey, are you ringing there? I am. <laughs> Who I'm is it? I'm getting a lot of emails. Turn it off. I do. Not only has he got his glasses on, put that phone away. Put that phone away now. That is so rude. One of the ways to get everyone talking about the food and the food we choose, where it comes from, is if you help us actually plate the first course, which is a salad. But it's not going to be your salad. It's going to be passed to the person to your right. I'm keeping my own plate, so <laughs> it's not what I like. 
And everyone moves to the table to make each other's food? We made a video. Amazing. Here, pass that down to Peggy. Is this? You can see the Hampshire the chicken. The brown eggs did. Hampshire chicken. Oh, the chickens that laid the eggs that are on the table. We've just looked at the chicken's bum. Fabulous. Okay, these are these are live. This is a movie of the this chickens? This is actually the yeah. chickens last week. Yeah. Now, is it very important for you guys to find the chickens that lay your eggs? Yeah. Yes. Frankly, I like the fact that my eggs come from the grocery store. Well, we also have greens here, which are all um, grown by a farm called Kind Organics. So there's a lot of talk about food going on here. This is going to go on all night. I, I, you know, I'm not there. I'm kind of bored and I'm ready to move on, so. You know, the, the content actually isn't boring. Sadly, it's the delivery. The delivery doesn't work. We've now had our fingers all over the plate, but we're going to pass this plate around to somebody else. But the fact that I don't know where somebody else's fingers have been and they're no. touching my food and I have to eat yeah, it is a big turn off. Yeah, this is yeah. yours. Whatever, I'm making it. You can really taste the corn. Mm -hmm. Here's the local build someone else's salad. I want to try these eggs, because now I've seen the hen. It's a good egg. It's a good egg. And I will say she's cooked them perfectly. Mm. Dressing is spot on. It's gorgeous dressing. Very fresh. Yeah, very fresh, very tasty. Peggy's found something else that's tasty. Can I offer you some more of this sparkling wine, Peggy? Sure. Ryan, what are you doing? Sorry, just to... <laughs> I thought you turned that off. No, I did. I'm just checking. I hate that. That is so wrong. If everybody could take in one of the salad ingredients, then we can clear the table a lot faster. So not right? only are they making their own food, but they're so also sorry, cleaning up. Peggy is loving this. I'm just going to have a little refill. Are you OK with that? Yeah, I can. Oh, oh she's helping herself. I'm just going to drink. I'm just helping to clear dishes, that's all. You can do whatever you please, Peggy. So Peggy's the rogue guest. <laughs> Peggy, you doing okay over there? Oops. Yeah, I'm good. I'm coming. Okay, class, into the kitchen. So the splake, let me go grab a photograph. We're gonna get a picture of the fish now. Yeah, and then we're gonna meet his friend after. Wait, I think I could use a little bit more alcohol. Oh, no, we've got show and tell. So the splake is a cross between a brook trout and a lake trout. This is your fisherman and fisherwoman. Mm -hmm. Nobody gives a shit about that. Uh, <laughs> uh, no, I'm not falling asleep at the table. I've always been good in the first half of class. It's usually the second half of class that I fall asleep. There's only so much I can hear about of where the potatoes came from, where the carrots came from, or where the salad came from. I definitely feel judged. <laughs> I am effing bored out of my mind. <laughs> Ryan's so bored, he's picking up things he's never seen before. How's everyone doing in there? Um, good, quiet. Quiet, is it painful? Kind of, but that's all right. <laughs> Could have went exceptionally well, but it oh. got too, what did I say? Preachy, yeah. and I warned them on that. I said, don't, because it's gonna get to be too preachy and it's gonna yeah. come across as boring. This party is falling down because of the atmosphere. I'm gonna ask everyone to come through to the dining room again. All right. Chuck, 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 chuck. Sorry. <laughs> well, we just got refills. I don't want to be rude. Peggy's going to need it. While Zara that's, plates the main, Amanda it... has more show and tell. This is Jake, this Blake. <laughs> I wanted to show you what a whole one looks like. And Zara will be through with the prepared portions shortly. Uh, when Charlie, got it. Yes, Look at this. Is. <laughs> <laughs> She's praying. She's praying. She's good. Nice limber Jake the Slay. We've been hanging Jake out with him play. all afternoon. Ugh, why are you showing me food that I'm going to eat? Why? Why are you showing me the food that I'm going to eat? You don't do that. You don't do that. That's almost as bad as putting a rat on the table. I don't really think they know how to entertain outside probably their own social circle of people who might be just as interested as they are. Before we take him away, would anyone like to give him a touch? Pat him? See you? Like... Oh, yeah, I, I... 
touch fish before okay. I'm good. No takers on touching? Uh, no, I just don't like the fact that he's looking at me. Hey, you're so pretty. I, I know I am, but I don't need him to look at me and tell me so. <laughs> It's a good thing you don't eat beef. I, I wouldn't want to see a dead cow in here. I yes. can imagine. <laughs> and Jake's brother is served. Look at, look at Ryan. So, Are you really eating? He, he's dipped in already. Well, you do this for every meal. Yeah. He does. And he does. Peggy, you're right. He starts, he doesn't wait for everybody to have sat down or for the host or hostess to say, we may start eating. And here it is. Pan seared splake over pork and lentils with greens and rice. Oh, I love so I'm going to try fiddlehead. Okay. Fish is pretty tasty. But the pork with the lentils and the fish, mm -hmm. beautiful mm -hmm. pairing. Okay, well, to see, this part of the fish is cooked perfectly. But that big piece of the fish, that's raw. Is the fish fully cooked? Yeah, I left it pretty rare so that it would sort of um, uh, okay. finish cooking in its own heat. Yeah, I think first there, might be yeah, a little like, underdone. Uh, like everything's really cold. Yeah. I can see, there's, a, there's the skewers. I like, like my fish underdone. Right. I'd say that's the biggest plate. Basically perfectly cooked. Yeah, it is perfectly yeah. cooked. Your curry is there what? anything warm on your plate? Right. Your curry no. Warm? I didn't Get that sucker well. Oh, it pains me to do this. Here you are. This is a much shallower piece, so hopefully it will be. That's cooked. There's a hair in my plate. Are you really? serious? I'm so serious. Are you sure it's not yours? It's the same one from uh, yesterday. No, that is, <laughs> that is not my hair. That is not my hair. We can share. Sure, you know what? I'll share with her. Thanks anyway. We can share. With 30 minutes left, Amanda and Zara nurse their bruised egos by plating dessert. I like those plates. This is the presentation here. Beautiful. This is a beautifully presented dessert, actually. Lovely. It's quite very, lovely. Very, very nice. It's pretty good. I've never had um, goat chef cheese. cheesecake before. And for dessert, goat cheesecake with rhubarb compote. Oh, I love that. Now look at that. Mm, that's just beautiful. Unbelievable. Can I just tell you how much I love rhubarb? Oh, I adore rhubarb. So that was their cheese. best course. Really best wow. course, best course, best course. Is your phone really ringing? No, you're not. If you were, you'd turn it off. Yeah. Because <laughs> you've been asked on three separate occasions to turn it off. Yeah. We need a cell phone. Hey, I'm really busy right now. Let me call you back, all right? Said he was really busy. Can I call you back? Gonna have to hurt you pretty soon. Why? I'm not Can at I your see house. That for a sec? Yeah, sure. No, but I'm at the head of the table. I, I, there we go. I have oh, a little... Oh, I've got to get up. I've got to get up. I've got to get And with that, <laughs> the evening comes Cheers. to a close. Cheers, everyone. Cheers. Cheers. I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> and now, for the judging. You've all worked incredibly hard, but this is Dinner Party Wars. There's only one couple who is going to take away a thousand dollars of cookware, but more importantly, the bragging rights to say you were the Dinner Party War champion. Ryan and Charlene, please step forward. Before we give you our scores, I think it's important you see what your guests thought of your dinner. All right, let's see. And everybody's wine glass was empty, so I took it upon myself to give everybody a little bit of wine. I think the food is really boring. I can't get my shoes on very easily, let alone get them off. It felt like the kind of thing that you could scoop out of a jar and put in a pita. Any thoughts? <laughs> it's okay. Yeah, well, let's talk about your food. You said you were going to glamify it. There was no glamify. Things happened. <laughs> the pasta overcooked the sauce out of a jar. That rice was a ready-made product. Store-bought ice cream. Were we supposed to make our own ice cream? I'm sorry. You could have. <laughs> really? Yes, okay, people I... do it all the time. So I'm being a little hard on you, but you know what? Unfortunately, you deserve it. I'm going to give you a four out of 10. Terrible. Yeah, pretty bad. For presentation, I felt that, pardon the pun, you got off on the wrong foot with your guests when you asked your guests to take their shoes off when they came into the house. And you 
as the host, had your shoes on. My mind was elsewhere. <laughs> the hooker bag was a fabulous idea. I mean, that was lovely. I really liked it. And it did get everybody laughing. For certain things, yes, I've had to mark you a six out of 10 for your presentation. You get an overall mark from the both of us of 10 out of 20. Peggy and Norm. Uh, food was good. Um, not as tasteful as our food, but good. The food is wonderful. Um, it's very well prepared. It's very well balanced. Peggy is contributing very little. She's only picking up the dishes. Better than I uh, expected. You did that beautiful curried lentil soup. And it was very simple, but it was very flavorful. Thank you. Your main course. The pork was cooked to perfection. It was tender, it was moist, it was flavorful. We enjoyed it. So for your total food score, I'm going to give you an 8 out of 10. Presentation. Peggy, you set a beautiful table and seem to defer to Norman more than actually you should have done. I have to mark you down a little bit for bringing Lola to the table, maybe before people had even finished eating. For your presentation and for your execution, I'm going to give you 7 out of 10, which combined with Corbin's score gives you a grand total of 15 out of 20. Thank you. That's great, thank you. Last but not least, Zara and Amanda. In one word, uh, I would describe as, as, as dull. Why are you showing me food that I'm going to eat? I definitely feel judged. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I don't know what to say. I like to see the food I'm going to eat. I like to know about it. Now your salad. Me being the foodie, I appreciated the flavors. I appreciated where the ingredients came from. The dressing was very nice. I liked it. Dessert. One of the best cheesecakes I've ever had. One of the best. The beautiful fish. Slightly undercooked. In fact, one part of the fish was cooked perfectly and the other end it was borderline raw. So for that, I'm going to give you a total score of 7 out of 10. And you created visually a beautiful environment for your guests to walk into. However, it's very important that you read your audience. They weren't comfortable. They weren't comfortable with the amount of information that was being given over. And it is a shame I have got to mark you down because of the ambience that you created or that you actually yourselves pulled apart and I'm gonna give you six out of 10, which means that your total score for this evening is 13 out of 20. So if you do your math, the winners tonight are Peggy and Norm. <laughs> so Norm and Peggy's meat and potatoes win the day on Dinner Party Wars. Uh, I don't really, I expected them to win. I mean, they're 25 years older than us. If they didn't win, it'd be a shame. It, it's not detracted from the fun that we didn't win. I would disagree. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting a little bit resentful. A victory dance. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you all. How about a dip?